Hello, welcome everybody to another Facebook Friday, right, for Lychee Friday. It's a beautiful, sunny, fabulous Friday. What, middle of January, I guess? We're making it. We're making it through the winter, which that is very, very exciting, right? Um, let's see, I'm like, my camera, hello, Philomena. I'm trying to figure out if everything is good here. I think it is. It feels like it's tipped up a little bit high, so I'm going to try to tip it down a little bit without thank you for sharing too philomena you are on top of things all right i don't know if i did anything or not but that's what we're going with so yeah sun shining i'm sure there's going to be a glare at some point but we're good right now so hopefully you guys have had a good couple of weeks philomena happy birthday to you your birthday is the day after my dad's birthday so i think i'm always going to remember your birthday um so that's kind of fun um so yeah hopefully you had a great birthday uh what is going on we have well we have some fun new stuff we're gonna play with today we are playing with the you're welcome, Philomena. The Calming Camellia stamp set. So this is a stamp set that you can get for free with, it's a big one, it's a $300 order. So this is a host only exclusive stamp set during celebration that like I said you can get for free so maybe what you want to do is find like friends family um you know whoever that you think would be interested in putting an order in and say you know for every $50 order they can get a celebration choice if you might find six people to do that that's $300 right then you would get the calming camellia stamp set for free the other fun thing that I am doing I've decided so <clears throat> You know, I'll put orders in and I'll get this Calming Camellia stamp set when, you know, um, orders over $300 um, go in, right? So I'm going to probably accumulate a few of these Calming Camellia stamp sets. So what I've decided I'm going to do is I'm going to give them away. So for every $50 order, we're going to go back to when Celebration began back on January 4th. Every $50 order that I get, that can be an online order, um, the class to go, if that um, price is over $50, that'll get your name in the drawing. And then also um, any online order. So any order over $50 between January 4 and February 28, as many of these Calming Camellia stamp sets as I get, I'm going to give them away. So I'd love to get your name in that drawing. Um, I will say too, so for example, if you spend $100, you're going to get two entries into the drawing. So it's for every $50 order, um, you get the chance to win the Calming Camellia stamp set. But like I said, if you want to guarantee that you get this beautiful stamp set if you accumulate $300 in orders like I said from friends family whoever um, and put that order in you can get the calming camellia stamp set for free as well guaranteed okay so it's beautiful too we're gonna play with this today on Facebook live so we've got I love the sentiments in here too. Um, we've got a couple of different ones. The first one, well, you're in my thoughts today. I love, that's always something that we need, right? Lovely you, that's kind of a cute one, right? We haven't had a sentiment like that in a while. Um, happy birthday, always, we can always use more of those, right? How about you make me smile? And it's the little things that make life great. That's that one right there too. And I always love the mixed fonts too. Um, oh, and then there's one more that my hands are covering up. I love being your friend. And then the beautiful imagery, the camellia. This must be, I don't really know camellias as far as flowers go, but that must be the camellia stamp set. Hello, Kathy. Um, and then I love that little swirl too. I, I wanna put that on like the corner of every envelope that I send out now, which you never know, maybe that'll happen. <laughs> As I'm thinking like, oh, cause sometimes I'm in such a rush that I don't stamp on the envelopes when I mail them out. And I always feel so badly when I do that. So I'm like, oh, that'd be a good one. I'm just gonna use that one on everything. Um, I'm gonna have to remember that. So yes, yeah, so beautiful stamp set. We're gonna play with this today. Um, again, you can get it for free with a $300 order or for every $50 order that you put in through me anytime between January 4th and February 28th, you're gonna get your name in the drawing and I'll be giving away as many of these as I get. We'll give them away on our first Facebook Live in March, okay? So, something to keep in mind. Um, let's see. I always have to check. I didn't get a chance to, like, review my notes before um, we went live, which I always like to do so they're fresh in my head. Um, but, of course, I was running around as usual. So... <clears throat> I wanna share with you guys a couple of cards that I have gotten recently from, hey Becky, hello, how are you? Thank you for sharing. Um, 
from our demonstrator development manager. It's DDM for short. So Shannon West is her name. And if you guys have seen her, she does lots of um, videos on Facebook Live too. So you maybe have seen her, but she's just a super neat, awesome, beautiful person. And so she's our kind of like our liaison, our contact um, the, between demonstrators here in Michigan and the surrounding states and Stampin' Up. So she lives out in Salt Lake City. But so she sent me a couple of cards recently. Um, and this one is a super simple, but you can see how um, just using our note cards and just doing a little bit of stamping, right? This one says, such happy news with the little bumblebee. And then she just colored them in, I'm sure, with the blends. Um, and on the inside, inside, she says, hi, Amy, congrats to you on an incredible year. Top performer in team building. Woohoo! You are amazing. Love, Shannon. And she writes this beautiful scrolly um, cursive writing also. So this was something... Um, that I had gotten a little bit ago, um, basically, like I said, um, for top performer in team building. So basically on our team, we had a number of people that, um, uh, not you don't say promoted, they reached qualified team member status. Hello, Teresa, how are you? So anyway, this was a little congratulations on having a great year in our team, our Inkspired Stampers team. And then she sent me another card. This one is really cool too. And again, very simple. I'm sure she's got to send these out to lots of people. So it's hard to do um, super crazy stamping in addition to everything else she has going on, right? But then this one, isn't this beautiful with the little flowers? And she stamped them. You can almost kind of see she stamped them underneath and then she again fussy cut them I'm sure because I know we don't have a die um, for that and then um, popped them up on dimensional so you just get a little bit of dimension and then some of our this is probably the brights I think that's daffodil delight the um, brights designer series paper and then a couple of the sequins I'm thinking those are the I think it's the Artistry Blooms sequins and it just says you're not just right it says you're absolutely amazing and on the inside she says congrats on earning Yet another incentive trip last year. Woohoo! Thank you for being so amazing year after year. Heart Shannon, love Shannon. Um, so that's there on the inside there too. So it's really, this is my point also in showing you guys these is, well, twofold, right? That you can make um, very simple cards. They don't have to be crazy with lots of detail. Unless you love to do that, then go for it. But if you feel like you don't have time, sometimes um, even just a simple card like this can really mean so much. Obviously, I'm sharing these with you guys um, because I was just very touched that she took the time to send these cards to me. So uh, you know, just that sharing your um, love of stamping and then just um, sharing your card making with others can really brighten people's day. Um, as I have been, in my days have been brightened by getting these cards from um, Shannon. So hello, Anna, how are you? And then another fun thing that happened recently, um, <clears throat> Pam, who's not watching right now, but a lot of times she does join us on Facebook Live, Pam Simmons sent to me, should, which should I show you? I'm going to show you this first, actually. So she made, and I saw these. She was posting them on um, Facebook, I think. So she made me this um, Kleenex box cover. It's backwards, but it's got the Go Blue and then the uh, Michigan Block M. So you guys all know I'm a pretty huge uh, U of M fan. I went to um, U of M, so that's part of the reason why. And then I basically grew up. My family, my mom and dad absolutely loved um, uh, Michigan football, especially they went to games for years and years had um, season tickets so they would all tailgate and just have I just have so many fun memories of like Michigan football especially over the years so anyway um, Pam made this awesome Kleenex box cover she's got on all sides we've got all this like go blue with the big block M my Mason blue it's funny because she sent me a message asking what um, Michigan's colors were and I'm like Mason blue of course um, so she I think she was worried maybe it looked like almost like a royal blue, but I say it's navy, so maize, like corn, like yellow. I would say, honestly, in, I should have even told her that. In Stampin' Up! colors, I would say either Daffodil Delight or maybe even Crushed Curry would be our yellow, and then Night of Navy is definitely the blue um, for these. But isn't this? It's just so cute. So thank you so much, Pam, for making this and sending it to me. It was such a fun surprise. Again, totally brightened my day, getting that sweet little gift from her. And then she made a matching card and envelope too. Check this out. So here's the, um, she decorated the back of the envelope flap, right? And then she made a maize and blue card as well that says, 
In a world where you can be anything, thank you for being kind. And I thought that was very, very, very sweet of her. And I love that medallion too. Isn't that beautiful? Um, really kind of see all that detail on there too. And says, she says, thanks for brightening up my day. And this is the inside. So she decorated. Love that. I forget about the inside of the cards. And I love how all those layers and then the designer series paper. She put this little sticky on here too, which I love to do this also. So thank you, Pam. So she says, basically, uh, thank you for all you do, Pam Simmons. And so she just stuck that sticky on the inside of the card and sent it to me so that then you can reuse the card too. So I'm already thinking like, oh, okay, I've got a, uh, my good friend Stacy that lives in Chicago. Um, she, I met her at U of M way back in the days, right? So many, many years ago. Um, anyway, but I'm like, oh, she would appreciate this maize and blue card as well. And She's a very kind woman as well. So I'm like, oh, I can reuse this card at some point too. So love that also to kind of gift a card to someone, share the sentiment, and then they can re-gift it to someone else too. So just the card that keeps on giving, right? So thank you, Pam. I so appreciate that. Um, and you're right, uh, Philomena, it is a beautiful card. Love all... Yeah, that, there's something about, I don't know, it's that medallion I love. And I haven't used that one in a while. I think we used it um, maybe for holiday cards, I think we used it. Uh, but I'm going to have to pull that die set out again. I'm going to play with that again sometime soon. So thank you. I appreciate um, every handmade card that I get from you guys. I love to share them with you too. So And, and like I said, to kind of show how much it brightens someone's day to receive a card like that too. So keep that in mind. You can share that love with anyone that needs to pick me up or just a, a hello, right? A hi friend, how are you? Um, <clears throat> All right, let's see. Oh, one other quick update. I did see on the Stampin' Up! website, um, because it was funny, somebody was asking me the other day about my magnetic plate. We were using it at class or something, and my dies kept like, you know, winging all over the place. Um, and I was like, well, we can't order a new uh, magnetic plate right now. But I did see on our current updates, in case you're wondering, um, Stampin' Up! is still working on it, and they're hoping to even have the new magnetic plate available for order with our new annual catalog that will start on May 1st. They didn't say for sure. I'm sure it's probably in the catalog, um, but they're trying to make sure that everything is all ready to go. Probably that... Um, you know what production is all um, on track and then shipping is all on track so hopefully very soon we'll be able to order new magnetic plates if you're needing those because I think I'm needing those myself <laughs> they just I don't know if they just get worn out over time or I'm not sure what happens so um, okay one other quick reminder I'm having a live bingo event it is a week from yesterday Thursday it's January let me make sure the 27th yep because today's the 21st uh, Thursday, January 27, it starts at 6 p.m. It's local right here. So it's a live bingo event that I'm doing right here in Alma. If anyone is interested in joining us, I still have room. We, we have lots of room to spread out too. That's the nice thing about um, the new space that, well, new space, it's been over a year, but it still feels new to me. Um, anyway, but about our space at the church here in town, we've got lots of room to spread out. So if you're interested, we play bingo and we do stamping and I always make little treats for everybody. You get a, a prize just for coming. So everybody is, I always say everybody's a winner, even if you don't win an actual prize during bingo. But I try super hard. I love for everyone to get something. And honestly, too, I give a couple of free handmade cards. If you don't win anything at bingo, in addition to the make and takes and the gift and the treat that I give everybody, um, everybody gets to take two free cards home if you don't win um, any of the prizes for playing bingo. So I just, you know, everybody needs to be a winner, right? <laughs> That's the way it is these days. And, and especially for me, when you come and hang out, I want everybody to feel like they had a great time. So if you're interested, we do still have um, spots available for bingo next Thursday. And I'm working on, I'm going to, I haven't done a, um, an online bingo in a while. I realized I'm like, oh, we got to get back to that. So I'll keep you posted. Um, I'm working on probably February or March. We'll be doing an online bingo as well. Cause those are kind of fun. And those like I mail your bingo boards out to you and your make and takes and same idea where we play bingo and we do make and takes all like on a Facebook live, just like this. We have a separate Facebook um, bingo group where I'll invite you to um, if you're interested in doing that. So watch for more details. I'll let you know um, on Facebook Live and then I'll also be emailing about it too. So got to figure out my dates still. 
get my calendar together for February and March. So I'll keep you posted on that. Um, all right, I think we are ready. Let's do our first drawing for, these are the beautiful champagne rhinestones. Love these things. Um, these, I, I don't know you guys, just the bling, the sparkly beautifulness. And these are some that I think, you know, I say that you can kind of bend the color a little bit. I feel like these are ones that you can kind of bend because they're truly like a champagne, kind of a goldy, beautiful color. But sometimes I think they can kind of look pink or maybe kind of peach if you need them to, so depending on what you put them on. So, all right, your name is in the drawing right here to win those champagne rhinestones if you shared the video, which thank you guys, I always appreciate your shares, and if you signed up for my email list, if you are not currently an email subscriber, do that. I include the link to sign up for my email list on the details above this Facebook Live video after I get it posted this afternoon, okay? And you can always find that link to on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. Okay, here we go. Got a couple stuck together. I gotta, I always have to like shake those up and spread them around. Okay, so the lucky winner, we have one in my hand, Miss Deb Northrup. Congratulations, Deb. You are the lucky winner of the champagne rhinestones. So I will put those out on the porch for you and you can pick those up anytime. Congratulations, Deb. All right, let me dump those out too. So on our next Facebook Live, we will be giving away, I gotta make sure I have those all ready to go for the next drawing. We're gonna give away, these are the beautiful, I don't know if you're gonna be able to get the full effect of them. These are the iridescent rhinestone basic jewels. And they come, ooh, could you see when I when I turn that? So they almost are like an opal-y kind of a deal where the diff, again, they pick up whatever color you're kind of working with. So these can be pinks, peaches, um, greens, blues, uh, purples. Uh, you're really not seeing that at all, are you? But they're kind of like a small, medium, and a large. When I turn them just like this and look at them, I can see like across there. I don't know. You guys are not going to be able to get that. But anyway, they're beautiful. This is a new gem that we have in our January to June mini catalog. They're gorgeous. You're going to love these. You're going to need these. You're going to want them if you don't have them already. But you can win them. Share the Facebook Live Facebook Live video and sign up for my email list and you could um, be the proud winner of the iridescent rhinestones on our next Facebook Live. <gasps> Ooh, they are. I didn't realize that. Anna, that must have just happened because I feel like I just ordered those. Well, that's good. Oh, now I'm like, oh, maybe I shouldn't be giving them away, but it's too late. I've already announced it. So yes, that's awesome. Very cool. So you'll be able to get these maybe before you can from Stampin' Up if you share the Facebook Live video or sign up for my email list. Okay. All right. I need a quick sip of water. One moment, please. Hmm. And check my notes. Let me see what I want to tell you guys about next. Oh, well, make sure, I think I told you guys about this on our last Facebook Live, but awesome starter kit deal right now, right? So you get to pick $125 in product and two free stamp sets and you only pay $99 uh, plus sales tax, no shipping fee. So in Michigan, it's $104.94 is the total for the starter kit. And you get, um, you can get probably close to $200 in product if you get some of the most expensive stamp sets that we have too. So it's an amazing, it's like a half off or more deal when you figure you don't pay um, the shipping, which is normally 10% of your order. Um, and then the sales tax, obviously you're only paying on the $99. So great, awesome deal would love to you uh, love for you to get to the starter kit become an inspired stamper become a part of our team we have an awesome group of ladies that loves to share um, we do our own um, team meetings on a separate Facebook live we do swapping and make and takes and actually let me show you I have some fun things to share with you guys um, a couple of swap cards from our last meeting so all right I gotta try to remember who made which Oh, and Jamie, now that I think about that, she, um, her cards, I haven't checked my mail in a little bit. Well, wait a minute. I thought I just checked it last night. Sorry, I'm like all over the place. Um, but she, so Jamie, one of our team members, um, was mailing her swaps, which we do if you're long distance. If you mail your swaps to me, I trade them out with everybody at the meeting and then send them back to you, which I did that. So I have a stack of swaps for Jamie. We're just waiting for her swaps to come in. So now I gotta, I gotta go check and see 
if they're in the mailbox or not. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, in the meantime, this is a super cute. We definitely had a Valentine theme and we didn't even, we don't really put a theme to our swaps. It's basically just anything current um, that we have, you can use on your cards. So we've got this super cute little Valentine with, with that looks like a little fish, but I believe, um, what punch is that? Oh, it's it's the it's an ornament punch, isn't that so cute? But it looks like a fish, and then the beautiful red, um, the little red hearts, aren't those so cute? So that those came. This is what's cool is this die right here, um, in the sweethearts dies, I think they're called. This right here, you die cut these, and then you get those little hearts, obviously inside those, and then she just added them right to her card. So isn't that so cute? This is um, Sharon Greening made this swap card. And then I think, oh, she did use, let me see, is that Fresh Freesia on the back? I like that. That's a cool color combination too. I hadn't even quite noticed that. Fresh Freesia and Real Red. So very pretty. And then Miss Jenny Boffman made this. Um, isn't this so cute too? With the little um, clip there too and the little heart. So that was just a fun, um, kind of a simple um, and she used, I'm not sure what embossing folder that is. If we, can you guys see? I don't know if you can see that. It almost looks like clouds. I'm not sure if that's a current one or not. Um, and then we have um, Miss Sunday Ostrander made this card, another one with love. This is my favorite pattern of a paper too in that Sweet Talk Designer Series paper. And then we've got this You Are So Loved stamp with the um, heart punch pack with the heart the straight edge and the scallop edge behind it too, and then some embossing that she did. And I love that, that she kind of used a little bit of non-traditional colors there too with that. Um, um, I think this is so saffron, and I'm sure she pulled that like from that heart right there also. So isn't that so pretty? So beautiful swaps, and then we definitely have a Valentine theme, like I said, going here. Then for our make and takes, we made some cute little Valentine treat box and cards also boxes and cards so this first one we decorated this is one of those um let me get the name of it for sure is this nope that's not it i still have the holiday mini catalog on my table i certainly don't need that i'm trying to just make sure what are they called the sweet little boxes so in the sweet talk suite the sweet little boxes which can I even see them? So they're right there. I don't know if you can see them very well, but the cool thing is that they come, so they come flat. Can you guys see that? Oops, sorry, that's like flopping. Underneath there, you can kind of see the boxes come flat and they actually have adhesive. Yeah, you can't really see very well, but they have adhesive already on them. So you basically just, it comes flat and you just fold it up. Um, and then there's adhesive on each of these ends and then they just stick together. So quick and simple and easy to put together. And they're perfect. Um, I would say I actually even um, meant to get the little conversation hearts. You know, they come in like a little box. I think it would fit perfectly right inside this, inside this box also. Um, or I actually, what did I buy? And I already ate it. Oh my gosh. Um, one of the Reese's peanut butter eggs, a big one. It was like it fit, it was the big one that fit all inside there, but it was super yummy. So I had it for class um, or for our meeting. And then when I brought it home, I was like, oh, I need to eat that. So <laughs> it's gone. But you kind of, you can see, um, can kind of, if I just open that up, there. So they're, they're just a really nice, like sturdy, substantial box. Um, you could put little Valentine cards in there too. That would be kind of fun. So anyway, this was one of our make and takes. It features, of course, the real red faux linen ribbon and then those rhinestones that we're going to give away on Facebook Live too. Um, then we made these three little Valentine cards. This first one says BFF and it features some of the designer series paper. And then we use this one, and this one says, you're cute, if you can kind of kind of see that, with another little rhinestone. And then this one's kind of fun. It's like conversation hearts, right? Stamp the hug me and BFF with more of the real red faux linen ribbon. And I think we, yeah, we put a couple of the little rhinestones. The idea is that then we actually made this box and any of these cards, so you can see, this um, card we made also with a little Happy Valentine's Day in the X and O, and that little tag is in those um, sweet 
Sweethearts dies also. And then more of the real red faux linen ribbon. And then check this out. This this is lucky it survived. <laughs> There'll be a time when there's nothing left in this bag, I'm sure. Uh, but I had I had to keep it intact so I could show you guys this. Um, but these are the little, um, these are more Reese's peanut butter kisses. Oh my gosh, chocolate peanut butter kisses. Yum. <laughs> I might have had one or two because, you know, they couldn't all fit in there. Um, but yeah, that's the problem with making these things, you guys, is I always have to like sample everything um, or eat whatever's left over, right? So, but my point is any of these cards could fit on here. Like you see how this card could go perfectly. I don't think you'd put them all the way around. I guess you could, that could be kind of a fun way to show all of the cards, right? If I did that, but you could have put this one on there. Um, you could have put this one on there. I wonder if I can, can I get this? Can I get them all? Or you could put, that's kind of cute, isn't it? Look, you could put them all on there if you wanted. That'd be a fun like way to display. Maybe I'll have to do that. Um, for my next class to show everybody. But anyway, super cute little cards. Um, you could even, you know, just make a little um, treat or put a, you know, put some treats um, or even just get those little um, conversation heart, the little boxes, and then just give this little um, Valentine's card. And it just opens up like this too. So it's a simple little card that you can um, put your a little note to your valentine um, inside there also so those were our make and takes so that's another great reason to um buy the starter kit and become an ink inspired stamper because then you can do these cute little make and takes with us every month if you're local you can come to the meeting um, and make them there if you're not local i ship all of those i mail all of that out to you guys um, each month too if you're interested so you can make them at home with us at the meeting or whenever you feel like it so Lots of great reasons to get the starter kit through us and become an Inkspired Stamper. All right, let me move these things out of the way. I think I'm doing a lot of talking today. I think we're ready to do our next drawing. Just trying to make sure. Mm, yeah, okay, we can do our next drawing. Let's do that, right? So, <clears throat> where is it? Right here. We are, <laughs> like trying to make sure, yep. We're on track, yes, 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 yes. I have so many notes there, it's like hard for me to read them all, but yeah, we're good. Um, yes, we are gonna give away now the Awesome Otters stamp set. This was the stamp set um, that was announced on our last Facebook Live that you would get your name in the drawing if you put an online order in of at least $30, right? So your name is in the drawing. You also automatically receive, as a thank you from me, both of these cards that we demonstrated, that was like flapping, um, but both of these cards that we demonstrated on our last Facebook Live, you get both of these as a thank you for sure with your $30 order. Your name is in the drawing to win that awesome Otter stamp set. You also, if you bumped your order up to $50, which honestly right now, why would you not do that, right? You can pick from either the free embellishment this month, which is the polished dots, or the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial for January. This is my project that's in there. And then we've got um, 15 other, because we have 16 people that do um, these, these, oh yes, and they're in color now. I printed it the other day and it was black and white. I'm like, oh, so ugly. I can't show you guys that. Um, so I was able to reprint it again in color. Um, but yeah, so, oh, look at that's kind of a fun one. Um, but yeah, so lots of beautiful projects. You can see all of the detail. I'm not doing a very good job flipping through there, but awesome projects featuring lots of fun new product from Celebration and our mini catalog with all the details on how you make everything in here as well. So this is free with a $50 order. You can either choose this or the embellishment and then you get a celebration choice too. So seriously, so much free stuff right now. Okay, so we are gonna do our drawing for the Awesome Otter stamp set. So like I said, your name is in here if you put in an order of at least $30 anytime between our last Facebook Live and uh, Wednesday at midnight. Okay, so the winner of the Awesome Otters stamp set is Miss Kathy Hilliard. All right, congratulations, Kathy. I will be mailing out the Awesome Otters stamp set to you along with the cards from our last Facebook Live. Okay. So do you guys wanna know what we're gonna give away on our next Facebook Live? Okay, this, I love this stamp set, probably because there are so many, many, many different sentiments in here, right? This is the Special Moments stamp set. So this is one that you can also get right now for free during celebration with a $100 order, 
or if you put an order in of at least $30 through me, your name's gonna go on the drawing and you could maybe win this um, on our next Facebook Live. So I have to read the sentiments. There are a bunch of them, but they are awesome. Lots of kind of different ones too. So we've got, and I can't, I can't do this backwards. So I'm gonna, hello, Don, how are you? I'm gonna have to read these to you and then I'll show you them again because 21 different sentiments in here. All right, are you ready? Thanks for brightening up my day. Love that one. Um, just a card to say you're amazing. With sympathy, hang in there. You're holding it. Not sure what that means, but maybe I must go with another one, right? It's okay to feel the feels. That one's kind of cool, right? Where would I be without a friend like you? Hey, boo. That's a teeny, teeny, tiny one. Look at that. Hey, boo. <laughs> uh, hello, sunshine. Oh, that's cute. Thanks. Good luck. Just a little high from me. And that's a teeny tiny one also. I'm reading down through the middle here now. There's that one right there, the just a little high from me. The thing I like about you is everything. Oh, that's cute, that's another little one. And then the last row right here, we've got happy birthday. I think you're wonderful. Big congratulations for someone who is wonderful in each and every way. Nice, huh? Thinking of you, I couldn't wait for a special occasion. Best wishes and I have something for you. Oh, fun, like mysterious, right? Okay, so that is the stamp set. We'll give this away with um, your minimum $30 order. But seriously, why would you only put a $30 order in right now when it's celebration? You might as well bump it up to $50 and get a free celebration choice too, okay? So that's what we'll give away in our next Facebook Live. Um, okay, I gotta like, this stuff is crowding me. I gotta move it back. I'll give you the host code too in just a sec. It's also all, always on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. Okay, um, I think, Two more quick things I just wanna show you and then we're gonna turn the camera down and we will do our stamping. Okay, so the first thing I just wanna do a kind of reminder about is our designer series paper share. Okay, can you guys see, this is the stack of paper that you get for just $35, okay? So there's um, some six by six paper. Ooh, the sun is like moving over and the glare is getting bad. We're definitely gonna to have to uh, move the table in a sec. But okay, I'm gonna try to bear through this here. Actually, that's kind of sideways, right? But I want you guys to kind of see all of, okay, so you get all of this. Can you guys see maybe a little bit, right? This is all the six by 12 paper that you get. Look at all of that, right? Okay, and then six by six, you guys are not gonna be able to get the full effect. This paper, this is some of the sparkly, even know. Oh, look at there. That one it is, right? This is a really pretty soft blue. I feel like it's probably balmy blue, and this is like a super sparkly in that light pink, right? And then we've got, this is the four by six. I can't remember the name of this one, but this is kind of a fun one too, right? Lots of like gold detail on there, just fun, bright. And then here is the rest of the six by six. Can you guys kind of get an idea? So, okay, seriously, all of this paper, woo, right? All of this paper for just $35. So if you are interested, let me know. I am still taking orders for the Designer Series Paper Share. Again, $35 for all of that paper, right? If you need it shipped to you, I ship it priority mail, so I have the tracking and insurance. Um, it's an additional $9 shipping to get it sent to you. But if you're interested, let me know. I'd love to get a Designer Series Paper Share sent out to you. <coughs> okay, you know what? I'm gonna flip the camera down to do this last part because the glare is getting really bad and I feel like I'm like doing this the whole time. Okay, so turn your heads away for a sec. We are gonna fly through the air and we will continue chatting and stamping. Okay, let's see here. Thank good. There, that and that. Okay, let's see what we got going here. Okay. We're here. All right, we're moving the table though. And that did not help at all. Okay, one more. I'm gonna pull it this way. <laughs> I'm like watching the camera to see. Okay, well, there. Okay, I think we're good now. Now my big shot's like a million miles away. I'll grab that in a sec though. Okay. 
So just wanted to do a quick reminder about the Hello Ladybug class to go. Today is the last day to order for the Hello Ladybug class to go. There are four cards that we make, two of each of them. I'll show you the cards real quick. We've got this one, and I did do some stamping on the inside, right? And then this one on the inside, love that, right? Hello, 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 love that little ladybug. I just think it's the cutest darn thing ever. It's a good day. And then this one, we actually, I wanted to show you guys, and it's a little bit hard to see. This is Blackberry Bliss, and um, why am I totally drawing a blank? Blackberry Bliss and Rich Razzleberry. Um, but I think you could make this card in any of the um, Regal's designer series paper colors that we have. So I wanted to make sure to kind of show this one that you could make a million of these, right? Because we just used that little strip and then the stamping. I don't know if you guys can see. Can you see the stamping that we did on there, right? So those are the four cards. There are the four different options. Option number one includes the bundle with the stamp set and the dies. You get the ribbon, you get the full pack of the Regals Designer Series paper, and you get the matte black dots. Option number one is $70. Option number two is if you already have the stamps and the dies, don't get option number two. If you don't have those because you need to do your own stamping, it's not dies, it's punch, um, but you need to do your own stamping and punching. You get the ribbon, the designer series paper, and the matte black dots in option number two. That's $33. Oh, and actually back in option number one, you get a free celebration choice too. Um, so let me know which, item, which uh, celebration item you'd like if you pick option number one. And then if you need them shipped to you, option number one and two, it's an additional $9 priority mail shipping. Option number three is the PDF tutorial that tells you step-by-step. Step. It gives you colors, um, product, product that we use, dimensions, everything that you need to know to put these cards together yourself. Option number, that's option number three. It's $15. If you are a current Inkspired stamper, you actually get the PDF tutorials for free anytime. <coughs> Excuse me, my oh, I'm gonna get this tickle in my throat. I'm gonna have to get a mint or something. <coughs> I can feel it coming. Mm. <coughs> Sorry, I'm grabbing some water real quick. It's like once it starts, it won't go away. <coughs> so I just need to stop talking, but you can't do that on a Facebook Live, can you? Mm. Okay, option number four is for any of my current inkspired stampers they can get the make and takes all the parts and pieces including the designer series paper the dots and the ribbon for just twelve dollars they do need their own stamp and punch to do their stamping and punching but everything else i give them and those are always available to any of my current inkspired stampers as well but today is the last day if you're interested in this class to go. The other thing I will mention too is we have a class to go club, which basically means that, yeah, I want to get one of these, either option number one or option number two, every single month. If there is a month that you truly are like, I am not interested in that class to go, I'm not offended. Just tell me. We'll just add another month onto your club membership. It's a 12 month membership. The cool thing is that I always send cute little treats to all my club members every month. So you get a fun little um, goodie in your to go kit package. I give you everything else. You know, you get these to-go kits every month. Um, and then you also are the host one month of the Class To Go Club, and you get at least $30 in free product, whatever you would like for being the host that month. So if you have any interest in this Class To Go, and maybe you want to get them for the next 12 months, right? It's an awesome way to get these um, fun little kits sent out to you every, thing, every single month. And Philomena's piping in because she's one of our club members. She's saying the greatest treat. So thank you, Philomena. That's very, very sweet of you. Love that. I love making those those treats too for everybody. So if you're interested, let me know. I'd love to get you signed up for the class to go or maybe the club. Okay. I want to give you guys, this is our host code for the month. This is what you're going to want to make sure to use um, for the rest of this month to get your name in the drawing for the Calming Camellia stamp set if you put an online order in and then also the projects that we're going to make right now. Okay. Let me grab I'm gonna grab that too. Okay, so here we go. I always have to move this so I know that I'm in view. If my grid paper's in view, then I know when I'm working, you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay, so I think we're good. All right, here we go, ladies. We are gonna make, oh my gosh, these cards are just beautiful. I went with an uh, kind of a monochromatic 
theme on this card. So we've got this stamp right here. We kind of stamped all over on the background. Hi, Debbie. How are you? Thank you for sharing. And then we've got this great sentiment that you make me smile. And then I couldn't stop stamping. So I stamped this little guy on the inside again. And then it says, it's the little things that make life great great and then there's that little swirl that I said I'm gonna to have to put on everything now so there's something about that that little I just love that so card number one oh and then I wanted to make sure because there are a number of items that carried over from our holiday mini catalog including this glittered organdy ribbon right can you see I just thought that was a fun little um kind of pop of sparkle and color and then those rhinestones that we're giving away for sharing the facebook live video we're going to use those the iridescent rhinestones also so okay let's get started let me grab my maybe die cutting machine too because it's too far away all right Oh, the other thing I have to show you guys is the marble, the Simply Marvelous. I know we gave it away a few weeks ago on Facebook Live, but I have to show it to you guys again because I've only gotten, I used just a little bit right on the back right there too, but you guys have to see. This is definitely, I like this marbly side a little bit better. This is a little bit crazy for me, but I think in small doses, it's good, right? Or with the right um, stamp set, um, but here, so just check this out, right? Actually, let's just look at this one side. Right, you can kind of see the backside too, aren't they so? Oh my gosh, it's just beautiful. And then there's the one that we used, that kind of blue. So here's the like little bit crazier side on them. I don't know if they're all, are they all? Yeah, they're all pretty crazy. It's like um, you added food coloring to water or something and then like swirled it around, right? Isn't that cool? But beautiful, I think you didn't get to see the pink very much. Yeah, so this is one of those freebies during celebration, free with a $50 order. And we use that again, and it just kind of blends right in, right on the back um, of that card. Okay, so here we go. Oh, I forgot that. I'm, oh, I know, that's why. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like talking to myself over here. But I wanted to, when I made this card, I thought, do I need, hi, Shauna, how are you? Um, I, I almost started to think maybe we needed a little something on um, the card base. So I brought my tasteful textile embossing folder and I brought another piece of cardstock because I want to see about embossing and putting that. You guys are going to tell me whether you like this one more simple or whether it's better with the um, embossing folder. But what I realized is I forgot to bring my other plate to do the embossing. So we'll have to do that. I'm going to go grab that in a sec. Actually, I'm going to grab it right now while I'm thinking about it. One moment, please. Okay. All right. All right. We're all good now. If that's the only thing I forgot, it'll be a good day, ladies. Okay. So let's see. I'm going to scoot this over here for now. All right. So we've got our card base. Balmy blue. Such a beautiful blue color. I don't use it that often either. And every time I do, I'm like, why am I not using this more? It's like a baby blue, I think. Okay, so here's our balmy blue cardstock. Along the eight and a half inch side, we cut it at four and a quarter inches. And then along the 11 inch side, we scored it at five and a half inches, okay? So there's our fold. <coughs> Okay, yeah, and I, I was like, did I bring this piece? Then this is the piece that I want to try to emboss, and then we're going to lay it right on top of there just to give a little more texture. This piece of balmy blue cardstock measures four and one eighth by five and three eighth inches, okay? So it's basically going to cover that whole card front. And then we have the basic white on the inside always the four inches by five and a quarter inches i always do that on the inside i should probably change that up every once in a while huh then our designer series paper the simply marvelous two and a half by four and a quarter inches and again isn't that it's just so pretty and see there in the smaller dose i like it better the full sheet is almost too much for me but that is beautiful right then we have a couple of scraps um, for our die cutting and then for our stamping right here of balmy blue and basic white. And then these are the layers that are going to go right on there. So this piece of balmy blue measures four and one eighth by three and one eighth. And then the basic white is four by three. Okay. So let's see, what are we going to do? Let's do our stamping. That's always a good idea, right? Um, I want to grab this piece too, because I'm going to stamp all over, and I don't want to get it all over my pristine grid paper, right? 
Okay, let's see. We need this right here. So we have our Balmy Blue ink. You guys know the best thing about Stampin' Up! is the ink that coordinates with the paper that if we had ribbon in Balmy Blue, it would coordinate perfectly. Um, but that's the beauty of it is all that coordination. Okay, so we have this cool stamp and I just kind of stamped it all over. So we're going to do one right there. And, and I kind of liked to change the direction too. So they're not all kind of going the same way. But I really, it's like kind of creating your own designer series paper here, right? Okay. Uh, let's see. Where's that one's going to fit right there? And then we'll do the back of that one right there. There we go. Isn't that so pretty? <clears throat> oh, this, the little grid paper? Yes, Shauna, I believe. Gosh, I sure hope so since I'm using it. Um, it is part of um, our, why am I, the Stamparatus. Um, it's the paper, the little grid paper. Um, you know what? Now I, I want to go look. Now I'm super curious. <laughs> Hold on, let me, I need to go grab my annual catalog and let's take a peek. Hold on. So we want to look, do you guys know this? I think this is handy and not everyone knows this. If you have a catalog, there's a little index. Sorry, I'm trying to like not get my catalog in the grid paper, but there's a little accessory index. So I would look, let's see, G grid paper 144 and 145. Let's see if it's there. Ooh, I almost did that, right? Um, so we've got, looks like number one, grid paper. So that's the full grid paper. What I'm thinking though, yeah, because that's the big 11 by 17. Um, oh yeah, here we go. See page 144 for small grid paper that fits the stamparatus. So that's right over. Oh, it's just, they don't, they barely show a picture, but yes, it's right here. So number four, stamparat. Nope, that's the foam mat. Small grid paper. Here we go. It is item code 149621. You guys probably can't even see that, can you? Right? 149621 and it's $6 and it says it's sized to fit the stamparatus used as scratch paper and ruler. You get 50 sheets and it's 7 3 8 by 7 and 3 8 Again, 149621. So that's the little, they kind of show it right here. I can see how if you're flipping through the catalog, you might not even notice it, but I'm glad. So yeah, in very small print, it tells you to see over here for the small grid paper. Good, okay, Diana, hello, how are you? Thanks for joining us today. Okay, good, so we got that solved then, Shauna. Okay, yes, so yes, you can get this grid paper. <laughs> good to know, right? Um, okay, so where was I at? I don't think I need that anymore. We are going to stamp, actually I might, but we're gonna stamp our sentiment right here, the you make me smile. Oops, let me make sure. I guess it doesn't even matter if it's upside down or not because we are gonna die cut it. There we go. So there's, oops, I didn't get the bottom of the Y. Let's try that one more time. It's because I used this little block. I probably should have used a bigger one. There we go. So there's the you make me smile. Then on the inside, what did we do on the inside? Yeah, let's let's grab our little grid paper back because we need to stamp again. I love this. This is another one that you can put like on any envelope. <laughs> All these just beautiful little swirly things, right? Okay, and then our sentiment, it's the little things that make life great. Isn't that so true, right? There we go. And then my little swirl. I'll just add him right there. Beautiful, huh? Isn't that so pretty? It's the little things that make life great with that beautiful little swirl and that little stamp there also. Okay, so there we go. I think we are ready to do our die cutting and, and our embossing. Let's do our embossing first so I don't forget to do that. So this one and this one. We just need these pieces for our die cutting. Okay, so here we go, ladies. My gosh, love this sunshine. Just makes it so like 
almost like it's not winter, right? All right, where's my, here we go. And this is a 3D, I was trying to see if it was. Yep, the Tasteful Textile is a 3D embossing folder. So we're just gonna pop this right in here with our regular platform, platform, the platform. <laughs> I have a serious accent right there, don't I? Okay, so let's see. I love, so this is just so nice, right? Just a little bit of extra texture, the tasteful textile embossing folder there. Okay, and then we're gonna do our die cutting. Looks like it's time for a new plate, huh? <laughs> it's so flat though that I still love to use it. Okay, so on here, Oh, and I need to show you guys okay, a couple things. So, um, did I, nope, I did not pull it out. Okay, these are, I can't remember what these are called. I'll flip it over in a sec, but the ornate, is it the ornate frames dies? Yes, the ornate frames dies. So these were dies. It's your favorite embossing folder too. Yes, it's just such a nice, simple one, isn't it, Diana, that you can just kind of add a little, or Diane, I'm sorry, I'm seeing, um, <laughs> I need my glasses. <laughs> I definitely need my glasses. Sorry about that, Diane, yes. Uh, but yes, awesome embossing folder. And then these are great, this set of dies. So the ornate frames dies. These were dies that came out like in a holiday catalog with the Halloween suite a couple of years ago, I think kind of with all of that ornate detail but I love like look at all these labels right this one is so cute too like I bet you could use one of those teeny tiny <laughs> like look you could do that little hey boo would fit in there or the little hello sunshine would fit in there perfectly too so cute um, but yeah love these um, label dies right I'm always like a fan of label dies because they have so many different options there too and smaller ones that'll fit around smaller sentiments so great set of dies still using these after years which is awesome so we're going to use this one right here on our you make me smile and then the other fun thing um and i have to show you guys in the catalog actually these it's on page 60 the flowers of home dies we i'm going to pull these out and then i'll show you oops and then one fell on the floor okay so these are the flowers of home dies, right? So this is another beautiful set of dies that just give you lots of little detail. I'll show you the card again in just a sec, but we're just gonna cut balmy blue, just these little kind of spriggy leafy pieces um, out of, right, out of the balmy blue cardstock. So here, I just like to, you know, when, when I'm looking at it and I'm like, oh, it needs a little something more, these little spriggy leafy things I think are perfect to just kind of add a little texture and kind of dimension to your project, right? You can see those um, iridescent rhinestones a little bit better too, along with that glittery ribbon, right? Um, so what did I say on page 60 in our mini catalog? Because I think this is a set of dies that you probably maybe wouldn't even notice, but they coordinate. So the big ones coordinate with these two stamps right here in the Blessings of Home stamp set. But here, the Blessings of Home bundle, the Flowers of Home dies. So can you guys see all of those little, so you got the two big ones that go with the stamps, right? And then all of those other little detailed pieces. So I think it's definitely one that you might kind of pass right by and not even notice. You can see lots of detail that they used um, on those projects also. But great set of dies that I think maybe you might kind of pass over and not even realize how beautiful they are. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. This is when I'm like, maybe I need a new magnetic platform. So <laughs> I'm going to be excited when we can do that. There. Okay, so those are all good. That's good. All right, here we go. We're about ready to put this card together, ladies. I am being super chatty today, apparently. Okay, so here's the label. Isn't that, love that, that little detail on there too? Okay, and then let's see if these, okay, good. So that we're not even gonna have to do any like poking out of anything. So there's one and there's the other. There's one little piece I need to pop out, but that's it. Okay, beautiful. Let's put those right there. Oops. All right, let's put our card together. Here we go, let's bring the card back in so I know what the heck I'm doing. 
um, adhesives right here. Okay, so we're gonna add, because I'm just so curious to know whether we needed this piece or not. This um, embossed piece. I don't know, I'm looking at the card like maybe it was fine, but we'll see. We're gonna just put this piece on here and then decide, and then we're gonna add our designer series paper Run it, tip it back, run it, tip it back, run it, tip it back. Okay. <clears throat> We're gonna put this one maybe right about there, right? Then we're gonna add this guy onto our balmy blue piece. So you can see how once you put, you know, do all your die cutting, I think that's the easiest way to do this too. Do all your die cutting, embossing, Get all of your pieces ready to go, and then assembly is quite simple. Okay, make sure those are all in there tight. All right, I'm just gonna take the backs off of the dimensionals. All right, make sure that's going the right way. We're gonna put that, maybe, oh, yep, I'm still good. All of a sudden I was like, oh, I forgot the ribbon, but we tie that around everything. So the glittered organdy ribbon, so beautiful. When you play with this ribbon too, you end up maybe with some glitter on other things, which is just kind of fun, right? Um, everyone loves glitter, a little glitter. Sprinkle a little glitter wherever you go, right? <laughs> okay. We're gonna tie our bow. So this ribbon is a little bit stiff. Um, sometimes I, I have to work with it a little bit to kind of get it um, how I want, but it always looks beautiful. And I love just all that sparkly glittery. Are we in view? I get so intent on what I'm doing that then I'm not sure I'm like showing you guys what we got. There we go, okay. We are gonna snip that one off right there. Okay, we are making progress here, ladies. We're gonna put, oh yeah, cause I didn't like that. See, this is another great example though too, especially with um, our basic white cardstock and a lighter um, ink color. I stamped on there and I didn't like it. So flip it over and do it again and you cannot see through that. So love that too. Okay, let's put them on the correct side though. So we've got this one and we've got that one. All right, we're gonna peel these guys off. We are gonna put that maybe right about there. Next, I always love to use my little um, silicone mat when I wanna add adhesive on these little pieces. And actually here, let's, we gotta get that one little, you probably won't even see that though, that's gonna get tucked underneath things. So be a little careful, cause I'm pretty sure I ripped one of these when I was adding adhesive. <laughs> cause you know, they're kind of delicate, okay. So let's see, we're gonna put this, kind of lift it, put that one right there. Oops, and then it got stuck on my fingers. And then we kind of put that one right there, right? Then what else do we need? Oh, well, lastly, we need our iridescent rhinestone basic jewels. Okay, we're just gonna add a couple of these. Oh, and then we gotta put this on the inside of our card too. Okay. Oops. So can you guys, maybe can you see in this light? Yeah. Can you see, like look at all the different, oh yeah, so oh, they're like, for real, like, what do I wanna say? They're like diamonds, <laughs> right? Okay, so we're gonna do one there, we're gonna do one down there. I'm doing one of each size too, so you guys can kind of see all three sizes. So there is the small, the medium, and the large. So how about that, huh? Oop, hold on, hold on. Don't let me forget. I gotta put this, um, our sentiment on the inside of our card. Oh, and then you guys tell me. Okay, I think I know which one I like better as I'm kind of looking at them. You tell me, which one do you like better? We've got... <clears throat> This one that doesn't have the embossing folder and then this one that does. And I think I like, 
I like this one with the embossing folder. I think it adds just a little. Now this one feels a little too simple to me, but I think either one is good, but I'm kind of feeling this one. So you guys tell me which one you like better with the embossing folder or not, or can you not even tell a difference? Who knows, right? Okay, so let me, I'm gonna just clean these off because I can't remember right now whether I use any of these. I don't think I do, but let's clean them just in case so they don't get all over everything. Okay, good. You guys are all saying embossing folder. Yep, that's what I was thinking too. Okay, all right, well, there we go. Now we know. So if you put an order in, I'll send you one of the cards that has the embossing folder on it also, okay? All right, here we go, ladies. So we've got card number two. Trying to get myself organized here. Okay, so another kind of uh, monochromatic. Can you guys see that? I see the glare from my <laughs> my, my mount. Um, but this one features, where's my stamp set? Where did it go? The, okay. Anna says, I like both, but the embossing folder adds a nice touch. I think so too. That's a good way to put it too, Anna. I agree. Okay, so here, this is the Camellia, I guess, right? The Camellia stamp. And so this is kind of a fun little technique. And I basically cased this right from the Celebration brochure. So if you go to the back here, you can see the host stamp set with the Calming Camellia, right? The Calming Camellia stamp set. So I loved this idea of stamping right on the vellum. So can you guys kind of see that? I feel like it's not showing up quite as well. Um, on video as it is in person. But I was like, oh, I just, I loved that. So I kind of adapted it. I love this Bermuda Bay color too. So that's what I went with on my card. Um, instead of, I think they used Mango Melody and Pumpkin Pie on their card, but you kind of get the idea here too. So, okay, let me show you how we're gonna make this one. Okay, and I'll give you um, dimensions and everything too, okay. We got that, we got that. We're gonna scoot that one back over there. Got my little cheat sheet with all my dimensions on it. Okay, so we are going to start this one. This is gonna go on the inside. I'll just show you that real quick right now. Again, the four inches by five and a quarter inches. That's always that one. Ooh, there, and you can really see the beautiful detail on that stamp there too. I think it's a little bit more muted on the vellum, but I liked that look, but then I wanted you to really be able to see that as well. Okay, so these, scooting this stuff over. So we're starting with our Bermuda Bay uh, cardstock, okay? Along the 11 inch side, we cut it at five and a half inches, and then along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches, okay? So we got that one there and there, and then again, that basic white piece goes on the inside. Then we have our vellum, and this is really cool, and I feel like, in this light, you're not gonna be able to see it very well. This is, I gotta pull it up in the catalog so I can show you guys. <clears throat> um, we're gonna look in the very back. It is the vellum layering designs on page 33. Okay, let's find it. So, are you guys gonna be able to see this? A little bit, right? So the kind of cool thing is it's vellum printed with white patterns and black patterns. And they're all, so there are, I think, three different patterns and they're either white or black in the three different patterns and then printed on the vellum. So it's just kind of a nice little overlay, um, just a little subtle addition to your project. And this one is actually, it's like typewriter print, but we, I put it this way. So instead of being able to read it, it almost looks like stripes, which is what they did in the card in the brochure too. So that's going to go right on there. So this piece of vellum measures three and a half by four and a half. And then we have, this is actually an extra piece of Bermuda Bay cardstock for our little sentiment there, but you need five strips of Bermuda Bay cardstock and they are different sizes. I think I have six here. I'm not sure. I think that's an extra one. <laughs> okay, so they all measure three and three quarters tall. You need a one one inch wide strip. Then you need two. These are seven eighth inch wide by three and three quarters. And then these are three quarters 
of an inch wide by three and three quarters, okay? So I will make sure to put all of the measurements, everything that we used on this card, all the details on my blog post this afternoon when I get that uploaded, okay? So in case you missed any of that or weren't sure, I'll have all the details on there too so you can recreate this card yourself. Okay, so let's do our stamping first because I will tell you, um, and I'm gonna do the best that I can, but really when you stamp on vellum, you wanna kinda let it sit um, like set it aside and let it dry because now it's dry but when I was working with it um, I could see I was getting a little bit on my fingers on the ribbon which is, actually could be kind of pretty if you wanted to like kind of color the ribbon too um, but just so you know that you're probably going to want to stamp it and set it aside for a little while and then come back and finish putting it together but we're going to do the best we can because I want to show you the completed card on Facebook live okay so this beautiful Camellia stamp, again, everything coordinates, right, with our Bermuda Bay ink and our Bermuda Bay cardstock. Okay, and I like to flip this over, this these big stamps like this, and kind of stamp the stamp on its back or ink it. Um, we're going to go right about there, and it doesn't matter. We're just trying to cover the majority. Isn't that, oh, see, you can really kind of see that now, can't you? If I lift it up, will you be able to see it? Nope, it's almost like it's better when it's on the white. Isn't that so pretty? Okay, so we're gonna ink it up again and stamp it. And you guys see I'm kind of switching directions too. So we're gonna make this one go right about there. Ooh, ooh isn't that so pretty? Love that. Okay, maybe over there you can see a little bit better, right? Okay, so now we're going to set that aside and let that kind of dry a little bit. Then on the inside, we're going to stamp another one right in the corner there too. So again, going to lay the stamp on its back, ink it up, and we're going to just stamp that. And I'm pressing pretty firmly because I really want to get all the detail. This is definitely, I feel like, one of those distinctive stamps it is stunning isn't it debbie yes oh beautiful and don't forget ladies every 50 dollar order through me through any time during celebration gets your name in the drawing to win as many of these calming camellia stamp sets as i get i'm giving them all away okay so let's see one more we just need to stamp our sentiment on this bermuda bay piece and then we can die cut this and start putting things together there we go i love being your friend yes very sweet huh okay <clears throat> trying to get those out of the way all right we're gonna let's do our die cutting and then we'll put everything together okay so we just need what do we need i'm like where did it go <laughs> oh yeah it's buried i see it it's just buried um oh that's so cool anna that you live on a street named camellia and now you have your camellia stamp set i love that that is so cool all right so we are using these are the tasteful labels dies another set of label dies that you have to have if you don't have these yet ladies we've had these for a couple years also so we're going to use that one right there but you can see lots of great use these all the time i, I think i i've used every single one of these many 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 times all right so we're just going to lay this right on here Get it lined up and lay that there. Oops. And there we go. Okay. Let's just get that right out of the way. And there, just a nice little label. Can you guys see that? <laughs> okay. All right. I think we're ready to put our card together. We'll put some dimensionals behind this. We're ready. We can do that, just put that right on there, right? Um, we can also put dimensionals on the back of these pieces. I want to make sure to just put them on the top and the bottom because I want to be able to thread my ribbon kind of underneath these, so I don't wanna put one in the middle and not be able to thread my ribbon behind it. So hopefully that makes sense, right? So we're gonna do one there. So use a couple of dimensionals on this project now <clears throat> i will tell you i'm going to use my one inch wide strip first Ooh, it's getting so bright and sunny okay 
and basically I thought it was easiest to line this right up here and find so I'm going to put this strip right at two between two and one quarter and three and one quarter so I'm just going to kind of line up where's two and quarter and then I also need to try to go top and bottom but the one thing I will tell you is as long as I get it straight and fairly even I'm just not going to press too hard okay so I've got that one and then I'm just going to kind of work my way out from there so next I used the 7 8 inch strip and I just want a little bit of room in between each of those and I find that it's easier for me to just work on the right hand side of the card I feel like maybe I don't um, get them very straight <laughs> if I do it the other way okay so I'm kind of working on my way out side of each of these. So we've got this one there. And as long as everything looks good, then I'll press down firmly, but I can still kind of peel anything back up that I think I might need. But isn't this kind of cool? Kind of a fun little technique there. Okay, so I think those look good. So I'm gonna press firmly on all of that. Now my other little trick is to tell you that I don't wanna have adhesive like all, like I definitely don't wanna put adhesive where I'm not stamping. So I'm gonna kind of carefully flip that over and I'm gonna add some adhesive behind where I have stamped because I don't think that it shows through as much. And you can see it kind of bled through a little bit there because I haven't given it probably quite as much time to dry as I could. So now I'm just gonna kind of lightly tack that down, okay? Next, you're gonna take your ribbon and just kind of go right through the middle. And I actually probably should have done this before I put the vellum on, because I think I'd be able to see it a little bit better. And um, so you're just gonna kind of feed this through here. And I'm just hoping, it really was fairly simple to do the other day when I designed this card. And you know how things turn out to like work not quite as well when you're live but I'm just gonna have patience and keep kind of, <laughs> there we go. Once you get it, then you can just pull it right through. Perfect, okay, there we go, there we go. Okay, so now we're just gonna tie a pretty bow. Let's bring that back over here. And at least this ribbon is um, pretty darn easy to work with, this white crinkled seam binding ribbon, right? Okay, so we're just making our bow right here. I'm gonna trim that off and just kind of pull that a little bit. There we go. Okay, very pretty. So fun when the bows turned out. I like don't even have to like futz with anything. Okay, so now we're gonna add our sentiment. I love being your friend. Very sweet, huh? Okay, we're gonna add that and then Man, is it bright, and look at that glare. But we're about done. Okay, these are a mess, <laughs> but these are the Artistry Blooms adhesive back sequins. This is how I kind of keep my stuff, is I'll grab like an old cello bag, probably from a set of dyes. Um, and this is probably a couple of different sets of these rhinestones or gems. What are these called? Yeah, adhesive. They're sequins. Yeah, but we've got, this is kind of, honestly, I think this is probably like a pool party color, but I think when you put it on here, it kind of becomes um, <clears throat> Bermuda Bay. So we're just going to add a couple of these little sequins. Oops, because you know I have to um, have a little bit of sparkle. Add a little bit of sparkle wherever you go, right, ladies? There we go. Okay, those go on there. And then we're just going to put this on the inside of our card. And I think we have completed our two projects today with our Calming Camellia stamp set. There we go. Okay. What do you guys think with that glare, right? <laughs> Maybe you can see a little bit better even, right? I love being your friend with that beautiful Camellia on the inside, right? Okay. So just to do a quick recap so you guys all know what's going on right so we've got those two cards where are the other ones and we've got this one with the the winner with the embossed piece on there right 
Thank you so much, Diane. I'm glad you enjoyed these cards. So yeah, just so you guys know, quick reminder, if you put an online order in through me <coughs> using this host code, <coughs> oh, I'm going to get my little dry throat. You get both of these projects as a thank you from me. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Bump your order up to $50. Actually, you get your name in the drawing to win the special moment stamp set too, right? Bump your order up to $50. You get to pick from the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial, which includes this card as one of the projects, or the Polished Dots as a free embellishment. Pick either one of those. You also get your celebration choice. And then right now, too, with your $50 order, your name goes in the drawing to win one of my Calming Camellia stamp sets. So thank you guys so very much for watching, hanging out today. Enjoy the sunshine if it's shiny, shining for you in your area. If not, it's coming your way soon, I'm sure. Hopefully January is going well for you. 2022 is going well for you. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you on our next Facebook Live. Bye, everybody.